Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and tonight I'm going to be bringing you my review of Finishing Touches by Thomas Tessier and this was published in 1986 and it is the first challenge in the three-month Halloween Horror Reading Challenge and the first challenge, the August challenge, is to read a book that is 31 years, of, uh, 31 years old or older as of August 1st, 2020. Uh, I believe this book was published in 2000 and uh, I'm sorry, 2000 Sorry about that. Uh, posted in 1986. So that what makes it like 32, 33 years old. I'm not sure my math is terrible. Uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and read the synopsis and then I will give you my thoughts on it. On an extended holiday in London, Dr. Tom Sutherland befriends a mysterious surgeon named Nordhagen and begins a wild affair with the doctor's exotic assistant, Lena. Seduced and completely enthralled by Lena, Tom can think only of being with her, following her deeper into forbidden fantasies and dark pleasures. But fantasy turns to nightmare when Tom discovers the basement laboratory of Dr. Nordigan, a secret chamber where cruelty, desire, and madness combine to form the ultimate evil. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about plot. Okay, first of all, it's erotic horror. That is basically what this all boils down to is that it is erotic horror horror. You know, it is a combination of sex, uh, death, horror, murder, whatever you want to call it. Just all that com combined into one. All right. Uh, and the thing is, I had to ask myself, I was sitting there thinking, about, thinking to myself, do I like this? You know, because do I like this particular story and the way it's going? And to be honest with you, I didn't really, to be honest. I mean, to be honest, I've read better erotic horror uh, the Hot Blood series, uh, the, which is like 13 volumes, uh, it has better erotic horror than this this novel. The short stories in that are better to me. Some of the stories are better to me than this. You know, uh, this just kind of tread water. That's basically what it did. All right. Now let's move into characters. Uh, let's start with Tom. Tom's supposed to be the moral character. He's a doctor. He's supposed to be the moral character. He's supposed to have the, the whole Hippocratic Oath thing and all that. And he just lets that completely go out the window. You know, as soon as he meets this woman, Lena, as soon as he gets entangled with this fellow, Nordigan, he just lets that completely go out the window. So, at first I started, I liked his character at first. And then as he progressed, I just found myself, like, hating him. You know, I mean, I, I didn't care what happened to this man one way or the other. You know, he could live, die, set himself on fire, get hit by a truck. I don't care. I didn't care one bit. All right. So there you go. Next up, we got Dr. Nordigan. Now, Dr. Nordigan is this, uh, he's a cosmetic surgeon, uh, and he meets up with Tom in a bar, and they basically become friends, and he's a drunk. He's a complete, absolute drunk. And you realize just right th from the beginning that there is more to this person than meets the eye and that it's not good. And as I read further and further, of course, I was exactly right. He's not good. He's probably the most evil character in the entire book. You know, so, yeah, uh, hated him too. Just just hated him. All right. In fact, I'm just going to say I hated all the, the main, the three main characters in this book. I hated them. Uh, as, and I'm going to say this, especially Lena. Uh, the reason I hated Lena is more so than I did these other two is because uh, she's toxic. That's just it. She is completely and absolutely toxic. All right. I mean, she's she's just one of these women. I was as reading it. She is described as being indescribably beautiful. You know, I mean, we're talking about just her beauty. I mean, we're we're just talking about her beauty surpasses everyone else's. And I'm just in there, the more I read about her, and she's always like, anytime she gets the character, anytime she gets Tom involved in something, she says to him, she's like, well, you know, um, we're going to show you something, or we're going to have you do something, but I'm going to be here with you every step of the way. And it's not because she's lending him moral support. I don't believe that for a second. It's because she's freaking, she gets off on it. You know, so I'm sitting there reading this book, and I'm thinking, honey, I don't care how beautiful you are. You're freaking toxic. Get away from me. You know, stay away from me. Don't even come near me. You know, I mean, beauty, whatever. Beauty schmuty, whatever. So, and uh, what else? What else do I want to say about this book? I'm not really sure. Uh, 
Let's see. Um, it, it's a little. It's not. It's not super gory. It's not gory or anything like that. But there are some disturbing scenes. I mean, this Doctor Nordigan. He's got this. Uh, basically, this chamber of horrors where he keeps uh, these people that he is he's abducted, and what he has done to them is he has amputated their arms and their legs, and is basically um, uh, feeding them, torturing them. Uh, and whatever, and he's just trying to get this fellow Tom involved in the same thing, and trying to lead Tom down this uh, dark path. And I'm probably have given it away already, but I'm not going to say whether he does lead Tom down this path. But uh, from what I've told you, I'm pretty sure you can form your own opinion. All right. So yeah, that's my review. That's my review of Finishing Touches. I didn't even really plan on doing a review for this book. But I was talking to Richard from Are You Into Horror? And I said, yeah, you know what? I probably need to review my August read. And he said, well, that's why you read the, the challenge is to review the book. I'm like, all right. So I'm doing the review. I'm giving this three stars. And I personally, to me, I think I'm being kind. I know a lot of people like Thomas Tessier's writing, books like The Night Walker. Uh, uh, somebody read, there's one that he did called Phantom. I haven't read that one yet. No, I have read The Night Walker. It's okay. And to me, this is just the same thing. It's just okay. So that's why I'm giving it three stars, and I think I'm being kind. So that's my review of Finishing Touches. Uh, thank you for watching this review. And uh, if you like my channel, I haven't said this in a long time. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you like my videos, please hit the like button. And if you want to get more videos, please hit that little bell for the notifications. Uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching, and good night.